Sportsman. Inverter generator. Sportsman. Just bought this at the uh, Home Depot. With clean and stable voltage, sine wave, reliable power for sensitive electronics. So, so this was on sale for 149 at Home Depot, and of course it was sold out. So I I got on the waiting list, and it came back. They got some more in, and they, but the sale was. Not 149.9 anymore. It was uh, 199. So another extra 50 bucks, but that was still uh, 87 dollars off of the regular price of uh, 289, I think. So something like that, anyway. So let's uh, check it out. You get a free screwdriver and a spark plug uh, socket. And this is, uh, looks like it's for charging your battery. That's going to be handy. Well, that's not very heavy. About 30 pounds, I think. Free lifetime technical support. One year warranty. And step by step quick start guide. So, you can just pause this and read it, I guess, at your leisure. <laughs> the Gen 1000. This way for anybody that wants to, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll keep it this way for now. <laughs> There's your warnings. So, let's do all this and Start her up. Okay, so that's plugged in and uh, took three pulls to start it. I forgot to film that part. <laughs> but anyway, it's connected there. And the uh, battery charger is hooked up to the battery. So, yeah. Looks like it's doing its job. And inside here. What are you looking at? Hey? <laughs> in, inside here I got the, uh, the Pro Jenny plugged in and charging. <laughs> uh, I got lights. Lights, camera, action. So This is my zapper, bug zapper. It's just wired up to anything I want. I got uh, 12 and a half, 12, 12.6 volts registering on that. Um, I go, I go by that all the time. <laughs> if I see it go down to like 11.9 or something, I gotta, whoops, I gotta 
disconnect the battery because it's getting low. <coughs> That's what I do anyway. So we got uh, we got house power now. Well, that's plugged in. Not that I have anything to run <laughs> other than lights. <laughs> Living alone on the road. It's not the quietest, but it's uh, certainly not too bad. For out here, nobody can hear me anyway. Well, I found another spot down the road that I like. It's February 9th. I've been here for, I don't know, a week or so now. And I just moved down the road because I found this spot here. It's further from the road. So less dust and less noise. And it's still got a lovely view here. You know, this fireplace here. <laughs> if I was into barbecues and shit. This is a nice view, eh? Friends of mine that I met up at Lake Havasu, they're over there. They've been there for a couple of days. I might move over there then, but I kind of like it here. I do have this, the tree if I want. But isn't that a lovely view? mountains and water and it's about I don't know 70 degrees now the sun makes it feel hotter so I'm going to be here for a couple of days I don't know what are you doing ask him what are you doing ask him Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is our new spot for a couple of days, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Ask him's in training. I can't let him off. Well, I probably can let him off, but he likes to roam. The last time he was gone for like 10 minutes, so until I can get him to uh, come when he called, <coughs> I call him, he ignores me, so. Um, he's just starting to uh, to uh, come when I call him on the leash, though. So we'll see how he is after a while, because I like to have him loose. As long as he stays and comes when he's called, that's all I worry about. So hope everybody's enjoying the uh, the minus 25 up north in Canada, Ontario. Ontario, Canada, I should say. I'm sure not missing that. <laughs>